Now, as we heard in the previous report, South Korea's victory over Uzbekistan sets up a semifinal full of intrigue and drama. Now, that's because Vietnam, their opponents in the semis, are led by a South Korean head coach who's been working wonders with their squad. Our Lee Seung Jae has more. The Taeguk Warriors are within touching distance of securing their second straight Asian Games gold in men's football after they edged past Uzbekistan 4 3 after extra time at the Patriot Chandrabaga Stadium on Monday. Head coach Kim Ak Bum showed why he picked Hwang Yee Jo as one of his three wildcard picks as the Gambao Saka striker found the back of the net three times. Hwang's third goal in the 75th minute gave him eight goals so far this tournament and his second hat trick at this year's Asian Games. With the match tie 3 3, Hwang also earned a penalty in the 117th minute, allowing South Korea to knock out a relatively strong Uzbek team. Meanwhile, the Pak Hang-seo magic continued on Monday as the Vietnamese national football team beat Syria 1 0 in the quarterfinal. Millions of fans all across Vietnam went out into the streets, waving the nation's flag, celebrating their latest win. Pak, a former assistant coach to Goose Hiddink during the 2002 World Cup, where South Korea finished fourth, is already a national hero in Vietnam after leading them to a stunning runners-up finish at the 2018 AFC Under-23 Championships earlier this year. Vietnam's win sets up the dream match as Pak will face his home country in the semifinal. Pak and South Korea's head coach Kim Ak Bum know each other very well as they faced each other numerous times as coaches in the K-League. With the winner advancing to the final, fans are eagerly anticipating the big match that's set for Wednesday evening. On the other side of the draw, Japan and the UAE will also face off on Wednesday. Victories by South Korea and Japan would set up a huge grudge match between the two arch-rivals in a bid for national glory and Asian Games gold. The final is set for Saturday. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.